Hidden within the remote reaches of the Western Pacific Ocean lies one of the world's most perplexing archaeological enigmas Nan Madal. These haunting ruins, located on the island of Pohnpei in the Federated States of Micronesia, have baffled researchers, adventurers, and scholars for centuries. Often dubbed the Venice of the Pacific, Nan Madal is a city of intricate stone canals, megalithic structures, and enigmatic legends that continue to captivate the imagination. In this video, we will delve deep into the mysteries of Nan Madal, exploring its history, architecture, and the theories surrounding its creation. Nan Madal's historical background Nan Madal's historical background is rooted in the lush island of Pohnpei in the Federated States of Micronesia. Around 2,000 years ago, Pohnpei's early inhabitants began constructing a complex society marked by stone construction. Nan Madal, often called the City of the Gods, emerged between the 8th and 16th centuries AD. This timeline coincided with the reign of the Sotalur dynasty, a powerful lineage on Pohnpei. The purpose of this remarkable city, constructed with massive basalt stones and featuring intricate canals, remains an enigma, sparking theories ranging from a sacred center to a political capital. Nan Madal's historical context continues to intrigue scholars and explorers alike. Early inhabitants of Pohnpei, the early inhabitants of Pohnpei, one of the four states comprising the Federated States of Micronesia, played a pivotal role in the island's history. Around 2,000 years ago, they established a sophisticated society marked by stone construction and engineering prowess. These early Pompeians demonstrated a remarkable ability to manipulate and work with the island's natural resources, including basalt, to create intricate structures and megalithic wonders. Their achievements in stonecraft and their adaptation to the island's tropical environment laid the foundation for later developments, including the construction of the enigmatic Nan Madal. The legacy of these early inhabitants continues to be a source of fascination and study in the field of archaeology. Nan Madal, often referred to as the City of the Gods, is believed to have been constructed between the 8th and 16th centuries AD, though the exact timeline remains elusive. It's important to note that this timeline overlaps with the reign of the Sotalur dynasty, a powerful ruling lineage in Pohnpei. The unusual architecture of Nan Madal, one of the most striking aspects of Nan Madal is its unique architecture, characterized by massive basalt stones meticulously arranged into walls, canals, and platforms. Megalithic construction, megalithic construction in the context of Nan Madal refers to the awe-inspiring use of massive basalt stones, some weighing up to 50 tons, to build the city's intricate structures. These early builders on Pohnpei, leveraging their deep understanding of the island's geological resources, employed an impressive yet mysterious technique to transport, shape, and assemble these colossal stones. The precision of their craftsmanship remains a marvel, and the methods employed in megalithic construction at Nan Madal continue to puzzle archaeologists and historians, inspiring ongoing research into their engineering and logistical prowess. Intricate Canal System What truly sets Nan Madal apart is its intricate canal system. The city consists of a series of artificial islets interconnected by a network of canals, leading to comparisons with the renowned canals of Venice, Italy. However, the purpose of these canals remains uncertain. Theories surrounding Nan Madal's purpose, numerous theories have been proposed to explain the purpose of Nan Madal. Some view it as a sacred center, while others suggest it served as a political or ceremonial hub. Let's explore these theories. The Ritual and Ceremonial Center, one prevailing theory posits that Nan Madal served as a significant ritual and ceremonial center. This theory suggests that the city was a sacred space reserved for religious practices, ceremonies, and gatherings of the Pompeian elite or priests. The complex alignment of structures, along with its isolation on the islets, lends credibility to this notion. The spiritual significance attributed to Nan Madal is reinforced by local folklore and legends that speak of divine connections and mystical powers associated with the site. The enigmatic aura of the city continues to fuel speculation about its role in ancient rituals. The political capital, another compelling theory surrounding Nan Madal is that it served as the political capital of the Sotalur dynasty, who ruled over Pohnpei during the city's construction. 
According to this hypothesis, Nan Natal's remote location on the islets may have been a strategic choice, providing protection from potential external threats and facilitating control over the island. As a political hub, it could have housed the ruling elite, administered governance, and conducted important state affairs. While the purpose of Nan Natal remains a subject of debate, its role as a political center holds weight due to the Sautiler dynasty's historical prominence. Legends and folklore of Nan Madal, Nan Madal's enigmatic aura has given rise to a plethora of legends and folklore among the indigenous Pompeian people. These stories offer unique insights into the city's cultural significance. The Legend of Isoplecal, the Legend of Isoplecal is intricately tied to Nan Madal's history. Isoplecal, a revered figure in Pompeian folklore, is said to have led a rebellion against the oppressive Sautiler dynasty. Who were the rulers of Pohnpei at the time of Nan Natal's construction? The legend portrays Isoplecal as a hero who sought to liberate his people. His actions and role in this legendary rebellion are often intertwined with the story of Nan Natal, adding an element of mystique and cultural significance to the enigmatic ruins. This legend continues to shape the narrative surrounding the city's history. Mysterious deaths and hauntings, local folklore surrounding Nan Madal is replete with tales of mysterious deaths and hauntings associated with the site. Stories warn that those who tamper with the ruins may face grave consequences, including illness or misfortune. Pompeian traditions have cultivated a deep respect and fear of Nan Madal's perceived spiritual power. Visitors and even some researchers have reported eerie experiences within the ancient city, further fueling its mystique. These legends and the belief in supernatural repercussions have discouraged many from extensive exploration of Nan Madal's ruins, contributing to its enigmatic aura. Modern exploration and conservation efforts, in recent decades, efforts have been made to study and conserve the Nan Madal complex. Archaeologists, historians, and conservationists have been working to unravel its mysteries and preserve its unique heritage. Archaeological excavations, archaeological teams from around the world have conducted studies at Nan Madal, shedding light on its construction techniques, artifacts, and potential functions. UNESCO World Heritage Site In 2016, Nan Madal was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognizing its cultural and historical significance. This designation has brought increased attention to the site's preservation and research, the unanswered questions, despite all the research and exploration, many questions about Nan Madal remain unanswered. Origins of the basalt stones, the source of the massive basalt stones used in construction remains unknown. Researchers are puzzled by how these massive stones were transported and shaped with such precision. Purpose of the canals, the true purpose of the intricate canal system remains a subject of debate. Were they for transportation? drainage, or some ritualistic function? Nan Madal's mystique continues to intrigue and inspire, making it one of the world's most enigmatic archaeological wonders. While we may never fully unravel its mysteries, the ongoing efforts of researchers, the preservation of its cultural heritage, and the stories of its legends ensure that Nan Madal will remain a captivating and enduring symbol of human history and ingenuity. What do you think of our video? Please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.